Boy, do I got some exciting news for y'all. Uh, what's going on, everybody? The Fender PSVR here. And in this video, I'm bringing you the latest PlayStation VR 2 news that has hit the internet. As we all know, or if you haven't known, I'm bringing it to you right now that Sony CES was tonight, was earlier tonight, and they brought out some brand new news for PlayStation VR 2. Gran Turismo 7 is getting a free VR upgrade for PSVR 2's launch. And also, Beat Saber is coming to PSVR 2 as well. Uh, big news for people who are Gran Turismo fans or who had the last Gran Turismo with the VR compatibility for PSVR 1. And Beat Saber is a huge PlayStation VR game on the system uh, and other systems as well that you know, is huge for all users. So having Grand Wheel 7 coming to PlayStation VR 2 on launch day with a free upgrade, just like Resident Evil and After the Fall and, um, you know, No Man's Sky and whatnot uh, is amazing. Also, Beat Saber is coming to PSVR 2 as well. So uh, I'm going to read this article from The Verge by Jay Peters, 8.47 p.m. Eastern Time which is right now for me, it's almost 11 o'clock. But, Grand Wheel 7 is getting a free VR upgrade for PS4 2's launch. Beat Saber, one of the marquee VR games, is also coming to the platform. Jim Ryan reveals Grand Wheel 7's VR update at CES 2023, voted by Chris Welch, The Verge. Grand Wheel 7 will be getting a free upgrade to let you play the game on PlayStation VR 2. PlayStation head Jim Ryan announced during Sony CES 2023 press conference on Wednesday today. The update will be available when PSVR 2 launches in February next month, and more than 30 games are on track for their PSVR 2's launch, Ryan said. Sony also revealed a big new title coming to PSVR 2, Beat Saber, which is arguably one of the marquee titles for VR. It's now in development for the platform. According to Ryan, and more details about the release will be shared in the near future. Developer Beat Games is owned by Meta. Or Meta. I always call it Meta. Meta. Meta Quest. Meta Quest. Owned by Meta. Via PSVR 2 release of Beat Saber isn't completely out of the blue. The game is already available for the original PSVR. PSVR 2 promises to be a big upgrade over the first PSVR with features like an OLED screen, a 110 degree field of view, support for 4K HDR, and frame rates of up to 120 hertz, and four cameras built into the device. It also has new sense controllers that can detect finger touches, and like the dual sense for PS5, they also have haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. But if you wanted to play your PSVR games on the new model, you won't be able to. PSVR 2 is set to launch on February 22nd for four or uh, five forty nine ninety nine. Pre-orders are available now on Sony's PlayStation Direct website. No invitation required. One of the biggest launch titles is a new VR game in the Horizon universe title Horizon called The Mountain, which you'll also be able to play through the Resident Evil Village's new VR mode as part of a free update available on day one. Why did they not announce like Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to have VR compatibility? You know, there's some PlayStation VR 1 games that's going to get ports like Moss. Man, it's just people's lack of freaking PlayStation VR new, like the PlayStation VR information that people like. That they don't put all the information that's needed to put into the article, whichever article they're showing. That kind of annoys me. Yeah, we're not going to have a lot of the dang old PSVR games come to PlayStation VR 2, but they should also be saying we have ports from PSVR 1 that are coming to PSVR 2. They're almost making it seem like it's impossible for, you know, like the ports to come or for PSVR 1 games to come to PlayStation VR 2. I don't get that, but you know what? Um, I guess it's just the knowledge, the little knowledge that some people have. Some people report about this and they don't know what the heck they're talking about or they'll say something crazy like, oh, uh, the wire is one of the reasons why I'm not getting a headset. Why a wire is a reason why you're not going to get a freaking state-of-the-art, premium, newly released, high-tech, futuristic headset because you don't want a wire. That's so stupid. At least with the wire, you ain't got to worry about charging it up or having that jink die on you in the middle of a game. 
yeah, it's tethered, but that's the most power that you're going to get straight from the headset to the dang on PlayStation for you to play the best games the best way they meant to be played. And, I mean, other than physical games, you know, of course, you won't be able to interfere with the wire unless you're, like, wailing your arms around. But other than that, I don't even think the PlayStation VR 2's wire is even thick like the PSVR 1. It should be detachable, but my bad. I went on a little mini rant. But, yeah, man, uh, Gran Turismo 7 is coming and also Beat Saber is uh, coming to PSVR 2. It's exciting. Uh, one of the two biggest games on PlayStation, which is Gran Turismo 7. And then also one of the biggest games in VR between, you know, Oculus uh, and PlayStation. And, you know, Beat Saber is a huge game. So getting the news that that's coming to PlayStation VR 2 is a big thing in itself but what do y'all think about it man are y'all gonna be getting it do you already own Gran Turismo do you look forward to Beat Saber some people you know they were amazed at Beat Saber then they were like okay I'm just like some blocks I don't even like this anymore and then they quit playing Beat Saber but I'm interested to see how they're gonna you know take advantage of the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers and you know just overall finger attention because you're just slicing some box and you know move into the beat and whatnot but I can tell you that I know that game is going to look amazing because right now it looks amazing on the PlayStation VR 1. It's even similar to like the PC version uh, of how good it looks. So it's going to blow a lot of people away. Uh, Gran Turismo, of course, is going to blow a lot of people away too. I never personally played a Gran Turismo. I'm a Need for Speed type of guy, but I may have to pick up Gran Turismo. I love racers and whatnot, so I'm going to have to probably pick it up. But that's going to do it for this video, man. News from CES. Um, CES freaking headline with playstation vr 2 and they only bought us two games um kind of disappointed i thought they were going to show us like firewall and crossfire sierra squad but the news was big enough there's some good news but leave a like comment share this video subscribe to the channel if you have not and i will see y'all in the next video this is the finner psvr closing out we up.